so are my chocolates made with pure love and uh, hello everyone this is chef meera mehta i'm basically a chocolate here uh, master chocolate here trained from my world's best uh, chocolate here chefs and uh, proud to say that we always use pure kavichur chocolates in all our bakes confections chocolates so chocolates and confectionery sugar confectionery cacao beans cacao butter i can talk for 2 3 hours on that so that is my forte i mean that where my specialization lies so uh, i mean we don't we take a pride to say i am not uh, against compound but yes we don't use compound at all we don't promote at all because it is quite convenient to use pure cacao butter chocolate it has a cacao butter cacao mass solids and only a cacao mass with cacao liquor so all this amalgamates from cacao beans and they are conch in a concher and then final result is your pure kavich chocolates hence we can't have a pure bar see chocolate as it names is theobroma food of god it's a fruit of god it's actually a fruit it comes from cacao beans and they have a process of fermentation roasting sun drying and i will tell you you will be amazed to know even while roasting the cacao beans the roasting will enhance the flavor profiles the chocolate cacao beans itself has 900 different flavor profiles imagine a single cacao bean can have 900 flavor profile so if i roast it in a uh, kadai maybe oven or some other oven or wood uh, 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 apna normal chula uh, okay then uh, shegri matlab there are many other uh, many thing even uh, people roast it on some special mango woods so these uh, roasting profile will develop the intensity of my chocolate and i will make you understand in a very uh, normal terms these chocolates have a uh, different flavor profiles as well now if you go to southern india our indian cacao beans are mostly earthy woody this kind of flavors we have we have more of a cacao coffee plantation over uh, there so don't mix yourself with coffee beans and cacao beans they both are different okay so again if i go to ghana the cacao beans are more of a uh, smoky style then if you go to morocco they are acidic you go to belgium they have a slight fruity feeling you go to south to madagascar they lie in uh, mediterranean uh, uh, profiles so there the taste profiles changes accordingly okay so we call this as a single origin cacao now uh, as i read this jindal cacao uh, we are using right now uh, in the recipe we'll be making whole wheat chocolate brownies so we'll be making it healthy i'll be using cacao uh, beans uh, from jindal coco which says it has 46.5% dark chocolate and yeah the percentage of cacao butter and cacao mass will definitely uh, put on that what percentage of cacao butter lies in it now if you see some percentages written on the chocolate bars so the, those are the percentage of cacao butter and the fat percentages in the chocolate उतना सारा ककाओ बटर नहीं डाला होता है ओके एंड वी हैव अ साइंटिफिक क्यूरेटेड रेसिपीज फॉर दैट इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट यू टेक द बीन्स यू सन ड्राई रोस्ट यू कॉन्च इट यू क्लीन इट इन अ रिफाइनर एंड देन यू टेक आउट अ चॉकलेट नो द फैट परसेंटेज हैज टू बी एडेड थॉटफुली केयरफुली एंड इवन द शुगर्स आर कंट्रोल्ड बाय आस सो हु सो एवर द प्रोड्यूसर इज वी कैन यूज ऑन अ हेल्थी और साइड खंडास री शुगर कॉर्नट शुगर केन शुगर and many other fruit sugars also so this way we make pure chocolates out of it so i'm happy uh, jindal coco has associated with us with pure cacao beans and cacao chocolates so they have a very beautiful uh, uh, product they have launched and as you can see their ingredient list is okay fine yeah they have sugar that's very uh, less i tell you cacao that is 46.5% now that includes cacao butter and cacao mass which comes of as a final result as a chocolate emulsifiers yes we need to add a little bit if it is a industrial product but if you go with bean to bar and you are making small micro batches at home you need not add it also and then you have vanilla so that's the only three ingredients in this 
and that's why it leaves you a long palate on your taste. So it doesn't happen with compound when it, it gives you a waxy feeling. So what are compounds basically? The residue from the chocolate factories which is there, the cacao powder, which is again alkalized, non-alkalized. So everything is removed and finally whatever is left, that is mixed with vegetable fats, some flavors, some cacao powder, milk powder and those slabs are formed. So okay, they are bake stable, you can melt, you can create beautiful uh, uh, but you, uh, chocolate crafting, you can create many uh, good chocolate crafting things from compounds, no matter. But the same thing happens with this also. But this needs to be tempered on a various temperature. Pure chocolate is a temperature, this uh, temperature, unka natak rehta hai temperature. As I say, my chocolate babies have, uh, they are special. So they behave different in different temperatures. And one thing I would like to share, chocolate as in fruit of God, it melts on human temperature. So ideal way to eat chocolate will be when you put a chocolate on your mouth, let it stay for 10 seconds, let it melt, let it mix with your saliva, let it taste your palate and then you start savoring it. That will last longer. Okay, any, any questions about pure curvature uh, chocolates? उसका टेम्परिंग का मेथड कुछ अलग रहता है ना तो उसके yes. बारे में थोड़ा इनफॉरमेशन चाहिए मुझे ओके फाइन थैंक यू मैम सी वी हैव बेसिकली यो इन सम इयर्स बैक वी यूज्ड टू नो ओनली मिल्क डार्क एंड व्हाइट चॉकलेट ओके नाउ वी हैव गोल्ड वी हैव रूबी आल्सो सो रूबी इज अ फोर्थ टाइप ऑफ चॉकलेट विथ फ्रूटी फ्लेवर्स एंड हायर सॉर सोर नॉट्स सोर मीन्स थोड़ा अगर रूबी चॉकलेट को आप मुंह पे रख के टेस्ट करते हो यहाँ पे आई सॉ इट वन स्टॉल यू कैन जस्ट बाय कैलेट्स एंड यू कैन डेफिनेटली हैव इट एंड यूज इट इन योर बेक्स ऑल्सो इवन विथ जिंदाल ककाओ दे हैव दे हैव रूबी राइट येस सो या एवरी चॉकलेट हैज अ डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर थिंग इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द विस्कॉसिटी ऑफ द चॉकलेट द डार्क चॉकलेट हैज़ अ हाइएस्ट विस्कॉसिटी वेर इन वी मेल्ट इट एट अ डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर लाइक टेम्परिंग इंक्लूड्स Heating uh, all the chocolates, I'm talking about all these three, they have a different, different thing, but the heating remains on the same temperature, which is we heat it at 45 degrees. With dark, we bring down to 29 to 30. And then again, we take it back to 32, which is we call as a working temperature. And at 32, we start working. Okay, with milk, this temperature will be from 45 to, it will be 28 and it will be bring again back to 30, okay? And 30 is our working temperature for milk. Now for white chocolate, white chocolate doesn't have any cacao mass, sorry, it is more of cacao butter and milk solids. So that forms our white, uh, white curvature chocolate. So white, 45 melt, bring down to 26, and then 28, 27 is a working temperature. With ruby, it's same as white. You melt it at 45, you bring, uh, bring down to 26, 27 and at 28, 29, it's your working temperature. Working temperature you have to maintain and that's why we use chocolate melters which keep our chocolates as in the same temper condition. Now my ch chocolate can go out of temper, okay, or it can start setting. So these tempering temperature will evolve my beta crystals to set in the chocolate. So this is the setting temperature of my chocolate. Once it starts setting, we need to redemper it and we need to bring back again this temperature and we need to bring back its working temperature, maybe dark milk and white, and we can start working it. Easy? Anything else? How to make ganache out of it? Ganache out of pure, pure. kavicha. Yeah, yeah, same way, same way. So same proportion? Yeah, it is same, yeah. See, uh, basically, uh, if I suggest for uh, summers, I use uh, 2.5 is to 1. Okay, that's a proportion because this already has a cacao butter. And cacao butter is a very good, it has a very good viscosity and fat in it itself. So I don't need extra fat from the cream. It's basically mixing of two fats. Ganache is nothing. 
so but here the it will be on a different style likewise with compound we mix both the things together we heat it in a microwave or double boiler and our ganache is set with kuvaichas you have to be slightly just heat it at 40 45 whichever the chocolate is bring down to 35 and then at 35 36 degrees temperature warm milk not hot you need to add warm cream sorry so you can add warm cream or butter or whatever you are making your ganaches with easy yes yeah you need to heat our chocolate at 45 degree any chocolate and uh, not beyond 45 45 is the ideal temperature when chocolate melts and the beta crystals in the cacao beans they flow in itself we need to set those to bring it so we bring the temperature down right yeah so 45 you heat it you bring down to 36 35 and at 35 degree in melted chocolate i will add my warm cream that will be my ganache and i'll mix it so that will be my ganache okay and this ganache will set very nicely easy anything else anybody else okay so i think uh, enough of it. i have talked about chocolates Coverture, I can talk on and on and on and on, <laughs> but okay, I'll, uh, I'm here to present uh, my uh, best recipe. I can say we have learned from certain many chefs. I've done my diploma from AISSMS College Pune. Later went to uh, Barry Calibu, uh, Seb, and many other uh, good chocolatiers, uh, world famous uh, chocolatier chef. We have, I have been trained under them. With chocolate, I'm working since last two, three years. So we specialize, and my brand Amatas, it's a registered trademark brand. Uh, I insist whenever you have your own bakery or chocolatey shop, register it, it protects you again. And then if, if it becomes a big brand, then uh, you are like on a safer side. So my brand Amatas, right now we are Pune based. Uh, we cater to many corporates here and there. And uh, yes, uh, we, we have a cloud kitchen as of now. We don't know, I have a shop. But just we are waiting for Corona to settle down. So once that is done, we'll be soon coming up with our cho small chocolatey, and uh, we'll have many confection. You can ask me about chocolate, sugars, anything. Yes. So uh, today uh, we have a time constraint. Otherwise, I would have shown some more recipes. So we'll be uh, starting with my recipes, which is whole wheat brownies. Okay. So I know many of you bake. But uh, this is with pure uh, chocolate. So this whole wheat brownie is healthy. As in we have a, almost 250 grams of melted chocolate over here. I think it's not melted properly. I need to get it melted properly. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, so melt your chocolate uh, completely and keep it aside to cool. I have almost taken 250 grams of Jindal cacao curvature. I have this pack uh, provided by Jindal uh, just uh, two, three days back. So I used this today morning and my kids were like, wow. So I'm used, I have used the same cacao. They have a 46.5, they have 70%. What all percentage you have, sir? We have in three ranges. One is from 46.5, another one is 50. You could see over here, we have 46.5, which Madam has just shown it to you. Then we have another one that is from 55.5. And the third one which we have tested is 70.7. See a pack over here. So these are the three ranges we have in dark. Okay, so my chocolate, 250 grams of chocolate, I have sent it to melt. Now I'll be taking, see this recipe is very simple. You just mix... Uh, wet ingredients with dry ingredients and you add melted chocolate and your whole wheat, brown, whole wheat brownie set but this recipe is i will call it a little on a healthier side because butter percentage is very less and pure curvature chocolate percentage is very high as you know chocolate contains many antioxidants and good flavonoids which is good for your health skin right so whenever we work with cocoa butter we usually do like this so you know what? We don't want to lose that. It's a magical ingredient. Oh, I mean, uh, I can see 60% girls. You might have cacao butter in your beauty products also. So imagine when you eat, what will happen to your skin? So turn back uh, yourself on curvatures. 
okay so i'm taking uh, brown sugar okay yeah so this i'm taking 60 grams of brown sugar 60 grams of curd now in this recipe i have okay instead of brown sugar you can use jaggery powder organic jaggery powder also you can use instead of uh, this thing you can also use cashew sugar but to bit on a healthier side i have used uh, brown sugar from mavana and you add 60 grams of curd So just mix it. See, with this recipe is eggless. With egg, I need to just add two eggs in this recipe, and you have an eggless brownie. Some people might like it uh, eggy version also. So with eggless, we use curds and many other curd uh, replacements for egg. So here I'm using curd. I'm just mixing it so that it dissolves. So it's very simple recipe. You can just uh, have one whisk or two balls, and your recipe is done. Okay. So my curd and sugar are mixed nicely it's a nice homogeneous mix can you see everyone okay can i have my melted chocolate please okay by the time my melted chocolate arrives we'll just mix our dry ingredients which is whole wheat flour okay or this is my uh, atta i make roti out of this okay any any atta don't go on brand any wheat flour you can use you can make half and half like in my recipe i have provided nine i have given you 90 grams of whole wheat so you can do half of whole wheat and a half of multi grain also to get into more healthier side so i'm using completely whole wheat today so we have 90 grams of whole wheat flour Okay, and now we'll be adding Wickfield baking powder. So in flour, it will be only with baking powder and baking soda. Soda because it will react with curd, and it will give me a nice bread structure, which is required for the brownies. So baking soda. This is also Wickfield. I've added one fourth of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, and this is my dry mixture ready. Now I'm waiting for my melted chocolate. Yes. Egg bar. Then sorry. Na. No, with egg version you can definitely skip baking soda. but baking powder is definitely needed both are different okay so both are leavening agent but with this i need a reaction with curd this is the best recipe it's very okay no no worries ha huh? no no okay fine it i'll i'll manage <laughs> okay ah uh, yes so with egg yeah no worries So with egg, it's simple. You just mix your two eggs, whole eggs, with sugar. You whisk it, okay, and it's done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. With egg, yeah. With egg, we generally don't advise using baking soda because egg itself has a rising property. It's a protein, and it has a rising cap capacity. 
So uh, with eggless version, I want reaction like an egg. That's why curd and baking soda mixture. Or I can add vinegar also to maximize my reaction. But I don't want a cake, I want brownie so that I'm avoiding vinegar. With bakes, you can definitely take vinegar also. So many eggless recipes, if you see, you have egg, soda, and vinegar as well. So that forms a reaction in the recipe and that will help you get good result like the same like egg. Clear? Thank you. So my milk choc my chocolate melted is arrived. Okay. Sorry as induction is uh, not working, but we'll just manage with this chocolate. This is melted. And I'll just add this and mix it nicely. So at home, please use double boiler method or microwave. So if even if with pure curvatures, you're using any pure cur curvature with microwave, you always shoot it at only 30, 40 seconds. Give it a whisk because what happens in the center, the chocolate melts, side may reh jati hai. Yeah, the side remains as it is. So se center ki chocolate, see if it is pure curvature, with a higher temperature, it will cease. So we don't want to happen that because it's a pure product. Okay? So our chef uh, used to say, I mean always, I remember, agar khara sona hai, to piglega hi. And that is with chocolate. Right? Real sona nahi piglta. Lekin ye hamara black gold hai. Agar khara hai, to piglega. If you keep it, your calories on your hand, try. After 10 seconds, you can see the marks on your hands. So that is because of your body temperature, which is 37 Fahrenheit. It melts. So that's why chocolate is fruit of God. See, God has created a beautiful creation for us. Wow, what was that? That line was very good. What was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? Oh yeah, you can't copy. If you have to sleep, then you will sleep. Is it? You can't copy. You can't copy. I'm learning from you. I will, I will uh, try somewhere else. When you don't have any Okay, having fun? Is it Chocolate will get chocolate, okay? Be ready. So anybody, if you want to shoot down uh, your questions regarding being yourself as a, seeing yourself as a chocolatier chef or working with chocolate industry or how much exposure this industry if alone or chocolate can give you if you really want to know, just shoot your questions, don't worry. Questions, questions. Here are some questions from here. Everything comes. Sorry, ask. Some questions. Sir, 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 sir. Sir. Hello. Madam. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. I am interested to ask something related to... Close to your mouth. Yeah. Uh, related to the chocolate manufacturing by utilization of the cocoa powders. So cocoa which, powders. Uh, okay. So which type of the fat we should utilize? Okay, fine. So with cacao butter, as far as my knowledge is considered, I see I'm a micro batch uh, developer. We develop micro batch. Now people know me as a chocolate chef. If they want, mm. they come to me. They sometimes people travel to Africa, Madagascar. They bring cacao beans mm. and they ask me to make a chocolate out of it. So I have a small concher in my utility and we give it to them. Now you're asking about the industrial thing. So industrial yes. thing, I have visited one or two factories, not more than that. So still I'll try to answer. And you have best people from Jindal Cacao to answer. But yes, with cacao powder, yes. So you can use a good quality cacao powder. Uh, to be honest, we are using Jindal ka cacao powder from uh, since years in our bakes. So with that, you can definitely mix with uh, some milk powder, milk solids, because you need to have a body to your chocolate, okay? Because cacao powder, which comes from cacao beans. Because, madam, I am interested which type of this fat. Fat, okay. Fat we can okay, utilize. you can go with cacao butter, you can go with lippy butter, you can go with coconut butter. Coconut butter. Yes, of course, you can create with coconut, coconut fat. But madam, pure co co coconut edible fat. Uh, I had utilized so many times of the coconut butter. Coconut but butter never generated the texture of the uh, chocolates. Sir, again, I tell you, with this, if you are working with good quality chocolates, mm -hmm. the temperature has to be maintained. Even with the coconut uh, butter, if you say. So, madam, the, right now you are saying a 37 degree Fahrenheit. 
Yeah, it's so, it's our temperature. It, uh, the chocolate melts in our not, body. Madam, 37 degrees centigrade, not the Fahrenheit. Sorry, 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 sorry. Fahrenheit, so you, uh, we cannot uh, melt the uh, chocolate. Yes, sorry, sir. <laughs> sorry. Aap <laughs> yaa <jaiye. laughs> Second thing, uh, I am asking us one question because I am interested to make uh, chocolate with the cocoa powder. So, which type of the fat and so how I'm much amount of the fat? So, I am interested with chocolate uh, covetures or bean to bar. Most of the persons are utilizing the mold based, uh, block based. Uh, yeah, so you mean to say compounds? Yes, yes. Okay. I am not interested in compound. I am okay. interested to develop the chocolate without the compound by the utilization of the cocoa powders. So, in okay. that case, can you uh, suggest me uh, uh, which type of the ingredient and which type of the fat? We should utilize for the development of that type of the uh, See, chocolates. For chocolate, as we uh, bake, we make it from beans, cacao beans. Yes. So once you roast it on a different temperature, the way you, as I said, roasting itself may have flavor profile develop. Yes, kar yes, lo. Yes. Once they are developed, you just uh, refine the beans. These are big beans. You need to break down into pieces. Usme se aapko residue nikalna padta hai. Yes, yes, so yes. in chocolate industry, as far as my understanding is there, 20 to 25 percent of the residue from, uh, matlab chode chilke rehte hai. Mm, yes. Uske upar wo aapko nikalni padte hai. Thodi kharaab beans rehte hai. Nips, nips nikalna. To iske saath, and then once you start with the conchure, you need to add a small amount of cacao butter as a fat to make that chocolate amalgamate. Because cacao beans itself has 50 to 54 percent of cacao butter in itself, like yeah. in avocado, it's a butter fruit, same way. But after that, we have to use some amount of the butters without some the amount of uh, butter, butter. okay, some amount of the butter, some amount of the fats. So, my so yeah, question, my I don't question, think so. My, butter, but fat, my, yes, we my, use my, it. My question is that. कि हमें कितना फैट उसमें ऐड करना है और कौन सा फैट ऐड करना है। Okay, so as far as minus concerned, I add cacao butter only, coconut butter. So आप अपने coconut fat I call, I can say। आप अपने कोर्स में क्या raw cocoa powder से आप चॉकलेट बनाना बताते हैं? Cocoa beans से, cocoa powder से नहीं, yes. So yes, yes, cocoa beans से। हाँ, तो उसमें उस रेसिपी में। तो उस रेसिपी में। हाँ, ठीक है, उस रेसिपी में। हाँ uh, my question is that uh, how much amount of or uh, which quality of the but, uh, fat yeah, mar uh, margarine or fats we add? Okay. Sir, we add margarine. Yeah, sure. Sir, the thing is that this topic is too big and I request you that if you have some technical, this is all what a technical question is. I am available at my stall. You please be there. I will explain the whole process and the things which you have asked, I will explain you in details. And for audience, please note that ki this is, the source question is too big. If all, all have been interested to know how the processes is, please visit our stall. We have an entire process flowchart over there. Yeah. In few minutes, you could have the knowledge how the industry works with this. So, sir, you're always yes. welcome at our stall. I'm waiting for you over there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Over to you. Okay. So, now I've mixed everything, my melted chocolate curd and sugar. Right now I have added only this. Now I'll be mixing 45 grams of butter. I'm keeping a little less butter in this. It's not completely healthy but since I'm using whole wheat flour, I'm going little less on the butter. And as I know my chocolate has a good amount of fat. I don't need. Okay. Miraji, one query we have. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, how much, how much chocolate did we add? 250 recipe? grams, 250 grams of uh, Jindal Kavachar we add, yes. And uh, we add 46.5. So if you want more intense flavor, you can uh, add 55%, 70% as well. So it depends on your taste profiles. Here I have used 46.5. So sir, I'll answer your question now. This 46.5 is the additional cacao butter. And every recipe is calculated. So if you meet me outside, I'll definitely explain you the mix, the maths. It's a it is a maths calculations which we calculate with every recipe. If I want to make it 35 percent, I can. If I if you say, madam, give me 65 percent, we can. And as they have a flow chart, you understand that flow chart, and you can ask me any questions then. More questions? Yes. Why not? Yeah. Hi, ma'am. Uh, yes. 
Yeah, thank you for explaining the coverture and compound difference. Yeah. So, yeah, my question is, uh, nowadays vegan is in a very uh, big trend. Yeah. So, how would you tell us about the vegan chocolate thing? Yeah, yes, so, yes. Yeah. We, with vegan, like, we don't use any plant, uh, any animal, uh, any product which is animal, uh, which comes from an animal. Okay, so, uh, let's make it simple. So, with vegan chocolates, we use sugar, like coconut sugar, cane sugar, right, fruit sugars. Okay, and uh, fat, as you know, cacao butter is the only fat I know we add with my coveted chocolates or uh, whenever I make my macro batches with industrial thing also, uh, with even Jindal or any other company, they use only uh, cacao butter as a fat. See, here it is written, they have cacao butter only as a fat. So it comes from fruit. So as it is, chocolate is vegan only. Unless and until the feeling inside has to be, it comes from ganaches sometimes. So with that, we can replace that ganaches with almond milk, soy milk, and we can have a vegan feeling inside. But chocolate, definitely, uh, it has a cacao butter, which is a vegan. Just a minute. To all of you, please note, the products, the dark range which we are having is a vegan product. Yeah. And one more thing is, uh, if we want to make it a sugar-free uh, for the diabetic people and the chocolate, okay. so how we can replace that sugar from Yeah, the, so we have sugar substitutes, sorbitol, erythritol, stevia powder. So again, as I said, once we start with curvature, see, uh, they have formulated certain recipes which are on an industrial basis. Even we know those calculations, even we, though we make into our micro batches at our cloud kitchen facility. So they have a, these coverture uh, cacao beans, they need to calculate it as a fat percentage, we need to calculate the amount of cacao mass or cacao beans that goes in through the recipe, a certain amount of sugar. So here you can control which sugar goes, what kind of uh, milk powder goes inside. And again, a cacao butter fat. So you can calculate those percentage and you can take out your own chocolate. Clear? I mean... Anybody else? Yes. Questions? Okay. So it's very simple, like you add melted chocolate, you add curd, you add water, uh, sorry, you add brown sugar, and you just go on whisking, and you have a nice homogeneous... See, can you see the shine of this chocolate? See, if you really want to see... See, this shine never comes from compounds, okay? So this is pure coverture. Each and every uh, particle of my chocolate or my uh, mix is uh, shining. So this shiny thing, you get only with curvatures. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, I just wanted to ask, you have used unsalted butter or salted butter? I've used Amul salted butter. See, a little bit of salt to cut the sugar because your, my chocolate percentage is higher. So if I can lessen down my chocolate percentage, uh, okay, you can go with unsalted as well, but I'm using your salted. Okay, so a little Thank bit you. of salt won't mind. You will taste the recipe once it's ready. So now I'm adding my wheat mixture, wherein we have we have taken 90 grams of wheat, whole wheat flour, 14 TSP of baking soda and 1 TSP of baking powder. So I'm adding this into my mixture of chocolate and curd and sugar. See, basically wheat flour, it takes uh, more water. So if you feel so, you can add one or two tablespoon of milk or water to adjust the consistency of your batter, okay? So it is all about balancing your liquids. Okay, so as soon as my baking soda reacts with wet ingredient, I have a nice homogeneous batter developed. Ready to go. I'll add vanilla essence. Don't skip this step.
so our batter is ready i'll just start my oven it's okay it's 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 okay it's okay in there yeah yeah okay on ha on hi hai okay so i'm preheating this at 150 160 sorry 160 and i'll be baking at 160 only 180 190 don't go for it 160 is a ideal temperature to bake lower the temperature higher the baking time this brownie will be ready in 20 25 minutes any doubt it's very simple recipe can you please show the consistency of the batter yeah sure so it's a dropping consistency okay the batter with egg it's a runny consistency the properties of eggs are different with eggless the batter always has to, uh, it is like dropping consistency like this it's never in a ribbon stage or something like that if you add more of a water and all the recipe will lose i'm sorry yeah curd curd ki jagah condensed milk use kar sakte hai kya uh, nahi condensed milk wala recipes are different they okay. are there definitely but with condensed milk again शुगर का प्रपोर्शन कम ज्यादा हो कम हो जाएगा कंडेंस मिल्क इज अ वेरी स्वीट एंड सो इट विल ऐड अ रिचनेस टू द ब्राउनी ओके इवन विद द कर्ड इट हैपन द सेम वे ये मेरा होममेड कर्ड है आप कोई भी कर्ड यूज कर लो विथ मी आई एम नेवर आई मीन आई मीन नेवर इन लव विथ सर्टन एनी ब्रांड जो भी है जैसा भी है आई यूज इट मेरा टेक्निक सही है मेरे मेजरमेंट सही है सो अच्छे से ही बन जाएगा ओके थैंक यू ओके ओके मोर क्वेश्चन बेकर ऑफ बेकर ऑफ पुणे नींद आ रही है अरे बातें शाते करो यार ऐसे कैसे चलेगा ऑल गुड है चॉकलेट खाने को मिलेगी सो नाउ आई एम टॉपिंग दिस चॉकलेट अगेन विद चॉकलेट कैलेट सी आई हैव दिस अगेन थैंक यू जिंदाल कोको फॉर द अपॉर्चुनिटी So yes. You know what? I'm adding pure cover chocolates on top, a, a little bit of dark and a little bit of milk on my brownies. Thank you. So here we have milk curvature. I'm adding generously for you guys. So you have a best mark feel my chocolate is ready my brownie sorry see i work a lot with chocolate so this comes easily my oven is preheated at 160 we will bake this brownie for 25 minutes okay hello okay you can replace the whole wheat with maida or as i say half and half don't go for the whole multi grain because uh, multi grain doesn't contain a uh, gluten it uh, so your brownies will be like a uh, toast it uh, or uh, maybe it will crumble a lot okay so just make sure you have half of at least uh, whole wheat flour and a half of multi grain to add More questions? Yes, ma'am. Want to know more about chocolate, chocolate industry, or you want to be a chocolate girl? You want to scale your own? Hello. Hello. Uh, chocolate ganache me emulsification ka process kya hota hai? Okay, see, with pure chocolate, it's hard. Gir gaya tha koi baat nahi. Sorry. Aaj gir jata hai yaar. okay so with ganaches with pure chocolate if i have to make the choc uh, the ganache 
what i'll do is i'll melt it at 45 my chocolate is completely melted i'll bring it down to 35 36 i'll add warm milk according to the uh, measurements i have it's like 2.5 is to 1 because it has fat inside so i'll add my cream at 35 and when it comes down to 32 that is the right time to add butter in your ganaches and then if you wish you can emulsify it with your hand blender so you get a very creamy and nice ganache this ganache can be used as filling frosting and it will stay longer सो बटर भी आपको हाई टेम्परेचर पे नहीं ऐड करना है इट इज़ अ फैट सो एट थर्टी टू थर्टी थ्री आई विल एड माई बटर सो वर्किंग विथ चॉकलेट्स आई नीड ऑलवेज आई नीड टू हैव माई इंफ्रा रेड गन इन माई हैंड टू चेक द टेम्परेचर क्लियर गेट इट एनबडी एल्स इज इट अ गुई ब्राउनी और द केक ई वन इट इज गु ई वन इट्स अ गु ई वन I have uh, taken chocolate amount, chocolate in a big amount, 250 grams compared to 90 grams. It's like a uh, huge amount, almost uh, 100% less flour. I have taken. Now we have 25 minutes, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk. Yeah. How many things? Anyways, uh, you guys are getting again one more hamper from Jindal's. Please go to their stall and grab your gift. Okay? Got it? Vishal. And click lots of pictures and tag us. Yes, why not? Yes, yes. To talk, I mean. yes, why not? Yeah, why? When you say bring down the chocolate, say, bring down the chocolate temperature from 45 to 35, how do we bring it down? Okay, see, uh, with tempering, we have two, three methods again. Now it it goes more into detail when we bring, we are bringing down. It doesn't come on it, so it does. But we need that will be my ganache, and I'll mix it. So that will be my ganache. Okay, and this ganache will set very nicely. Easy. Anything else? Anybody else? Okay. So I think uh, enough of it. I have talked about chocolates. Kavicher, I can talk on and on and on and on. <laughs> But okay, I'll. Uh, I'm here to present uh, my uh, best recipe. I can say we have learned from certain many chefs. I've done my diploma from AISSMS College, Pune. Later went to uh, Barry Kalibu. uh sep and many other uh, good chocolatiers uh, world famous uh, chocolatier chef we have i have been trained under them with chocolate i am working since last 2 3 years so we specialize and my brand amatas it's a registered trademark brand uh, i insist whenever you have your own bakery or chocolatery shop register it it protects you again and then if if it becomes a big brand then uh, you are like on a safer side so my brand amatas right now we are pune based uh, we cater to many corporates here and there and uh, yes uh, we we have a cloud kitchen as of now we don't uh, have a shop but just we are waiting for corona to settle down so once that is done we'll be soon coming up with our cho small chocolatery and uh, we'll have many confection you can ask me about chocolate sugars anything yes so uh, today Uh, we have a time constraint otherwise i would have shown some more recipes so we'll be uh, starting with my recipes which is whole wheat brownies okay so i know many of you bake but uh, this is with pure uh, chocolate so this whole wheat brownie is healthy as in we have a uh, almost 250 grams of melted chocolate over here I think it's not melted properly. I need to get it melted properly. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, so melt your chocolate uh, completely and keep it aside to cool. I have almost taken 250 grams of Jindal cacao curvature. I have this pack uh, provided by Jindal uh, just uh, two three days back. So I used this today morning and my kids were like, "Wow." So I'm use. I have used the same cacao. They have a forty-six point five. They have seventy percent. What all percent is you have, sir? We have in three ranges. One is from forty-six point five. Another one is fifty point. You could see over here. We have forty-six point five, which Madam has just shown it to you. Then we have another one that is from fifty-five point five, and the third one which we have tested is seventy point seven. See a pack over here. So these are the three ranges we have in dark. 
Okay, so my chocolate, 250 grams of chocolate, I have sent it to melt. Now, I'll be taking, see this recipe is very simple. You just mix uh, wet ingredients with dry ingredients and you add melted chocolate and your whole wheat, brown, whole wheat brownie is set. But this recipe is, I will call it a little hair on a healthier side because butter percentage is very less and pure curvature chocolate percentage is very high. As you know, chocolate contains many antioxidants and good uh, flavonoids which is good for your health, skin, right? So whenever we work with cocoa butter, we usually do like this. So, you know what, we don't want to lose that. It's a magical ingredient. Or, I mean, uh, I can see 60% girls, you might have cacao butter in your beauty products also. So imagine when you eat, what will happen to your skin? So turn back uh, yourself on curvatures. Okay, so I'm taking uh, brown sugar, okay? Yeah, so this I'm taking 60 grams of brown sugar. 60 grams of curd. Now in this recipe, I have, okay, instead of brown sugar, you can use jaggery powder, organic jaggery powder also. You can use, instead of uh, this thing, you can also use castor sugar, but to bit on a healthier side, I have used uh, brown sugar from Mavana, and you add 60 grams of curd. So just mix it. See, with this recipe is eggless. With egg, I need to just add two eggs in this recipe and you have an eggless brownie. Some people might like it uh, eggy version also. So with eggless, we use curds and many other curd uh, replacements for egg. So here I'm using curd. I'm just mixing it so that it dissolves. So it's very simple recipe. You can just uh, have one whisker, two balls, and your recipe is done. Okay, so my curd and sugar are mixed nicely. It's a nice homogeneous mix. Can you see everyone? Okay. Can I have my melted chocolate please? Okay. By the time my melted chocolate arrives, we'll just mix our dry ingredients, which is whole wheat flour. Okay. Or oh, this is my uh, atta. I make roti out of this. Okay, any any atta. Don't go on brand. Any wheat flour you can use. You can make half and half. Like in my recipe, I have provided nine. I have given you 90 grams of whole wheat. So you can do half of whole wheat and a half of multigrain also to get into more healthier side. So I'm using completely whole wheat today. So we have 90 grams of whole wheat flour. Okay, and now we'll be adding Wickfield baking powder. So in flour, it will be only with baking powder and baking soda. Soda because it will react with curd and it will give me a nice bread structure which is required for the brownies. So baking soda, this is also Wickfield. I've added one fourth of baking soda and one TSP of baking powder, okay? And this is my dry mixture ready. Now I'm waiting for my melted chocolate. Yes. Egg word. Didn't, sorry. If you are doing the egg version, we still need to add baking powder No, with egg version, you can definitely skip baking soda. But baking powder is definitely needed. Both are different. 
Okay, so both are leavening agent, but with this, I need a reaction with curd. This is the best recipe. It's very good. Okay, no, no worries. Huh? No, no, no. Okay, fine. It, I'll, I'll uh, manage. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, yes. So with egg. Yeah, no worries. So with egg, it's simple. You just mix your two eggs, whole eggs, with sugar. You whisk it. Okay, and it's done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, no, with egg, yeah, with egg, we generally don't advise using baking soda because egg itself has a rising property, it's a protein and it has a rising cap uh, capacity. So, uh, with eggless version, I want reaction like an egg, that's why curd and baking soda mixture. Or, I can add vinegar also to maximize my reaction, but I don't want a cake, I want brownie so that I'm avoiding vinegar. With bakes, you can definitely take vinegar also. So many eggless recipes, if you see, you have egg, soda, and vinegar as well. So that forms a reaction in the recipe, and that will help you get good result, like the same like egg. Clear? Thank you. So my milk choc my chocolate melted is arrived. Okay. Sorry as induction is uh, not working, but we'll just manage with this chocolate. This is melted and I'll just add this and mix it nicely. So at home, please use double boiler method or microwave. So if even if with pure curvatures, you're using any pure cur curvature with microwave, you always shoot it at only 30, 40 seconds. Give it a whisk because what happens in the center, the chocolate melts side may reh jati hai yeah the side remains as it is so se center ki chocolate see if it is pure curvature with a higher temperature it will seize so we don't want to happen that because it's a pure product okay so our chef uh, used to say i mean always i remember agar khara sona hai to piglega hi and that is with chocolate right real mm. sona nahi pigalta Lekin ye hamara black gold hai, agar khara hai to piglega. If you keep it your calories on your hand, try. After 10 seconds, you can see the marks on your hands. So that is because of your body temperature, which is 37 Fahrenheit. It melts. So that's why chocolate is fruit of God. See, God has created a beautiful creation for us. Wow, kya baat hai. Wo line bahut achhi lagi mujhe. Kya thi wo? Sona pigle kya wo? Kya thi wo? Kya thi? Arey, yaad nahi rahi. Oh yeah, you can't copy. Khara sona hai toh, pigle gai. Is it? You can't copy. You can't copy. You can't copy. I'm learning from you. I will, I will try somewhere else. Jab ye log nahi hoongi maa pe. Okay, having fun? Maza aara hai? Chocolate khaane ko milegi, thik hai? Be ready. So anybody, if you want to shoot down your questions regarding being yourself as a, seeing yourself as a chocolatey or chef, or working with chocolate industry or how much exposure this industry even alone or chocolate can give you if you really want to know just shoot your questions don't worry question questions yahan se kuch questions nahi aa rahe hain sab aata hai sorry puchho wo sawal sir sir are sir sir hello madam yes uh, Yes, sir. I'm interested to ask something related to uh, related to the chocolate manufacturing by utilization of the cocoa powders. So cocoa which, powders. Uh, okay. So which type of the fat we should utilize? Okay, fine. So with cacao butter, as far as my knowledge is considered, I see I'm a micro batch uh, developer. We develop micro batch. Now people know me as a chocolate chef. If they want, mm. they come to me. They Sometimes people travel to Africa, Madagascar, they bring cacao beans mm -hmm. and they ask me to make a chocolate out of it. So I have a small concher in my utility and we give it to them. Now you're asking about the industrial thing. So industrial yes. thing, I have visited one or two factories, not mm -hmm. more than that. So still I'll try to answer and you have best people from Jindal Cacao to answer. But yes, with cacao powder, yes. So you can use a good quality cacao powder. Uh, to be honest, we are using Jindal ka cacao powder from uh, since years in our bakes. So with that, you can definitely mix with uh, some milk powder, milk solids, because you need to have a body to your chocolate. 
okay because cacao powder which comes from cacao beans because madam i am interested which type of this fat fat okay fat we can okay utilize. you can go with cacao butter you can go with lippy butter you can go with coconut butter coconut butter yes of course you can create with coconut coconut fat but madam pure co coconut co edible fat I, i had utilized so many time of the coconut butter coconut but butter never generated the texture of the uh, chocolate sir again i tell you with this if you are working with good quality chocolates mm -hmm. the temperature has to be maintained even with the coconut uh, butter if you say so madam the, right now you are saying a 37 degree fahrenheit yeah it's it's so our temperature it huh. the chocolate melts madam, in our not, body madam, 37 degree centigrade not the fahrenheit sorry 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 fahrenheit so you uh, we cannot uh, melt the uh, chocolate yes, 37 sorry degree. sir <laughs> sorry aap yahan aa jaiye second thing uh, i am asking was one questions because i am interested to make uh, chocolate with the cocoa powders so which type of the fat and so how I'm much amount of fat so i am interested with chocolate uh, covetures or bean to bar the, most of the persons are utilizing the mold based uh, block based uh, yeah so you mean to chocolate. say compounds yes yes i am okay. not interested in compound i am okay. interested to develop the chocolate without the compound by the utilization of the cocoa powders so in okay. that case can you uh, suggest me Okay, uh, uh, which type of the ingredient and which type of the fat we should utilize for the development of that type of the uh, See, chocolates? See, for chocolate, as we uh, bake, we make it from beans, cacao beans. Yes. So once you roast it on a different temperature, the way you, as I said, roasting itself may have flavor profile develop. Yes. Kar yes. Lo. Yes. Once they are developed, you just uh, refine the beans. These are big beans. You need to break down into pieces. उसमें से आपको रेस्टिड्यू निकालना पड़ता है सो इन चॉकलेट इंडस्ट्री एज फार एज माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज देर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द रेस्टिड्यू फ्रॉम मतलब छोटे छिलके रहते हैं उसके ऊपर वो आपको निकालने पड़ते हैं थोड़ी खराब बीन्स रहते हैं तो इसके साथ एंड देन वंस यू स्टार्ट विद कॉन्चर यू नीड टू एड अ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ ककाओ बटर एज अ फैट टू मेक दैट चॉकलेट अमाल के मेट बिकॉज ककाओ बीन्स इट सेल्फ हैज 50 to 54 percent of cacao butter in itself, like yeah. in avocado, it's a butter fruit. Same way. But after that, we have to use some amount of the butters without some the amount of uh, butter. butter. Okay. Some amount of the butter, some amount of the fats. So my so question, yeah, my I question, don't question, think so. My, butter, but fat, my, yes, we my, use my, it. My my question is that. कि हमें कितना फैट उसमें ऐड करना है और कौन सा फैट ऐड करना है। ओके सो जो एज फर एज माइनस कंसर्ड आई एड ककाओ बटर ओनली कोकोनट बटर तो आप अपने कोकोनट फैट आई कॉल आई कैन से कोर्स में क्या रॉ कोको पाउडर से आप चॉकलेट बनाना बताते हैं कोको बीन से कोको पाउडर से नहीं यस सो यस यस कोको बीन से या वी टीच फ्रॉम रोस्टिंग तो उस रेसिपी में यस ठीक है उस रेसिपी में हां माय क्वेश्चन इज दैट कि हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ और व्हिच क्वालिटी ऑफ द बट फैट या मार्गरीन या फैट्स वो कौन सा हम ऐड करते हैं ओके सर हम मार्गरीन या शोर सर द थिंग इज दैट दिस टॉपिक इज टू बिग and i request you that if you have some technical this is all what a technical question is i am available at my stall you please be there i will explain the whole process and the things which you have asked i will explain you in details and for audience please note that ki this is the source question is too big if all all have been interested to know how the processes is please visit our stall we have an entire process flow chart over there yeah. in few minutes you could have the knowledge how the industry works with this so sir you are always yes. welcome at our stall i am waiting for you over there thank you thank you sir thank you sir over to you okay so now i have mixed everything my melted chocolate curd and sugar right now i have added only this now i'll be mixing 45 grams of butter i'm keeping a little less butter in this it's not completely healthy but since i'm using whole wheat flour i'm going little less on the butter and as i know my chocolate has a good amount of fat i don't need okay meera ji one query we have yes uh, ma'am how much how much chocolate did we add to the 250 recipe? grams 250 grams of uh, jindal kavachar we add yes and uh, we add 46.5 so if you want more intense flavor you can uh, add 55% 70% as well So it depends on your taste profiles. Here I have used forty-six point five. 
So, sir, I'll answer your question now. This 46.5 is the additional cacao butter, and every recipe is calculated. So, if you meet me outside, I'll definitely explain you the the maths. It's a it is a maths calculations which we calculate with every recipe. If I want to make it 35 percent, I can. If I if you say, madam, give me 65 percent, we can. And as they have a flow chart, you understand that flow chart, and you can ask me any questions then. More questions? Yes, why not? Yeah, hi, ma'am. Uh, yes. Yeah, thank you for explaining the coverture and compound difference. Yeah. So, yeah, my question is, uh, nowadays vegan is in a very uh, big trend. Yeah. So, how would you tell us about the vegan chocolate thing? Yeah, yes, so, yes. Yeah. We, with vegan, like, we don't use any plant, uh, any animal, uh, any product which is animal, uh, which comes from an animal. Okay, so let's make it simple. So, with vegan chocolates, we use sugar, like coconut sugar, cane sugar, right, fruit sugars. Okay, and uh, fat, as you know, cacao butter is the only fat I know we add with my coveted chocolates or uh, whenever I make my macro batches with industrial thing also, uh, with even Jindal or any other company, they use only uh, cacao butter as a fat. See, here it is written, they have cacao butter only as a fat. So it comes from fruit. So as it is, chocolate is vegan only. Unless and until the feeling inside has to be, it comes from ganaches sometimes. So with that, we can replace that ganaches with almond milk, soy milk, and we can have a vegan feeling inside. But chocolate, definitely, uh, it has a cacao butter, which is a vegan. Just a minute. To all of you, please note, the products, the dark range which we are having is a vegan product. Yeah. And one more thing is, uh, if we want to make it a sugar-free uh, for the diabetic people and the chocolate, okay. so how we can replace that sugar from Yeah, the, so we have sugar substitutes, sorbitol, erythritol, stevia powder. So again, as I said, once we start with curvature, see, uh, they have formulated certain recipes which are on an industrial basis. Even we know those calculations, even we, though we make into our micro batches at our cloud kitchen facility. So they have a, these coverture uh, cacao beans, they need to calculate it as a fat percentage. We need to calculate the amount of cacao mass or uh, cacao beans that goes in through the recipe, a certain amount of sugar. So here you can control which sugar goes, what kind of uh, milk powder goes inside. And again, a cacao butter fat. So you can calculate those percentage and you can take out your own chocolate. Clear? I mean... Anybody else? Yes. Questions? Okay. So it's very simple. Like you add melted chocolate, you add curd, you add water, uh, sorry, you add brown sugar, and you just go on whisking, and you have a nice homogeneous. See, can you see the shine of this chocolate? See, if you really want to see, See, this shine never comes from compounds, okay? So this is pure coverage. Each and every uh, particle of my chocolate or my uh, mix is uh, shining. So this shiny thing, you get only with curvatures. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, I just wanted to ask, you have used unsalted butter or salted butter? I have used Amul salted butter. See, a little bit of salt to cut the sugar because here my chocolate percentage is higher. So if I can lessen down my chocolate percentage, uh, okay, you can go with unsalted as well, but I'm using your salted. Okay, So a little bit you. of salt won't mind. You will taste the recipe once we, it's ready. So now I'm adding my wheat mixture, wherein we, have, we are taking 90 grams of wheat, whole wheat flour, 1 4 TSP of baking soda and 1 TSP of baking powder. So I'm adding this into my mixture of chocolate and curd and sugar. See, basically wheat flour, it takes uh, more water. So if you feel so, you can add one or two tablespoons of milk or water to adjust the consistency of your batter, okay? So it is all about balancing your liquids.
Okay, so as soon as my baking soda reacts with wet ingredient, I have a nice homogeneous batter developed. Ready to go. I'll add vanilla essence. Don't skip this step. So our batter is ready. I'll just start my oven. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm preheating this at 150, 160. Sorry, 160. And I'll be baking at 160 only. 180, 190. Don't go for it. 160 is the ideal temperature to bake. Lower the temperature, higher the baking time. This brownie will be ready in 20-25 minutes. Any doubt? It's very simple recipe. Can you please show the consistency of the batter? Yeah, sure. So it's a dropping consistency, okay, the batter. With egg, it's a runny consistency. The properties of eggs are different. With eggless, the batter always has, to, uh, it is like dropping consistency, like this. It's never in a ribbon stage or something like that. If you add more of a water and all, the recipe will lose. I'm sorry. Yeah. Curd, curd ki jaga condensed milk use kar sakte hai kya? Uh, nahi, condensed milk wala recipes are different. They okay. are there definitely. But with condensed milk again, uh, sugar ka proportion kam zyada ho, kam ho jayega. Yeah. Condensed milk is a very sweet uh, and yeah. uh, so it will add a richness to the brownie. Okay, even with the curd it happens the same way. Ye mera homemade curd hai. Ab koi bhi curd use kar lo. Uh, with me, I'm never... Uh, I mean, I mean, never in love with certain brand, any brand. Jo bhi hai, jaisa bhi hai, I use it. Mera technique sahi hai, mere measurements sahi hai. So, achhe se hi ban jayega. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. More questions? Baker of, bakers of Pune. Neend aari hai? Aray, baate shate karo, yaar. Aise kaise chalega? All good, having fun, say yes. Can I have milk, yes, milk chocolate? Yes, chocolate. Can I have milk, milk chocolate? Yeah. So now I'm topping this chocolate again with a chocolate calyx. See, uh, I have this uh, again. Thank you, Jindal Koko, for the opportunity. So, yes. You know what? I'm adding pure cover chocolates on top, a, a little bit of dark and a little bit of milk on my brownies. Thank you. So here we have milk curvature. I'm adding generously for you guys. So you have a best mark feel. My chocolate is ready. My brownie, sorry. See, I work a lot with chocolate. So this comes easily. My oven is preheated. At 160, we will bake this brownie for 25 minutes. Okay? Hello. Okay, you can replace the whole wheat with maida or as I say, half and half. Don't go for the whole multigrain because uh, multigrain doesn't contain a uh, gluten. It, uh, so your brownies will be like uh, toast It uh, or uh, maybe it will crumble a lot. Okay? So just make sure you have half of at least uh, whole wheat flour and a half of multigrain to add. Okay, 